The false start on the Nancy Barasa appeal case occasioned by her lead counsel Judith Gusera's absence was unprecedented to the judges. Your Honor, Ms. Gusera is outside the country on a pre arranged or pre confirmed law society lit retreat in. Belgium, Germany, and the Netherlands, which is ending on 25th, 25th of this month. It's clear to us that Mrs. Gusero's reasons for her absence today to prosecute this appeal and her failure to fully brief Mrs. Wamwai or any other counsel to argue this matter this morning is marks of arrogance, disrespect, and negligence on her part. This court will not allow counsel to treat it with disrespect or arrogance. We have filed our papers. We note with concern that they have not filed anything, but perhaps they will be relying on the record as filed. This is the Supreme Court of Kenya, the apex court in this nation. Our schedule shall not be based on the convenience of counsel. Let this message be heard loud and clear by counsel who wish to appear in this court. Lawyers representing Barasa and the tribunal were directed on the 9th of this month to appear in court six days later for the commencement of the hearing. Counsel Guserwa is on record for pleading with the court to expedite the matter. In our words, the matter is hanging on the head of my client. If your lordships are able to fit us within your schedule, within reasonable time, we are not averse to having the matter heard expeditiously. My instructions, Your Honours, are limited to seeking an adjournment for at least two weeks. I'm extremely sorry for this uh, situation. Thank you. OK, the application for adjournment is, uh, is hereby allowed. The appeal, this appeal, shall be heard at 10 a.m on October 23rd, 2012, and Mrs. Gusero will personally pay the costs of the adjournment. The judges contemplated rejecting the application, but considered that the counsel wasn't the one seeking justice, but her client, Nancy Barasa. The Supreme Court clearly did not take kindly the plea for adjournment. Either way, the judges granted it, but warned parties involved that no further adjournment will be allowed. Barasa was accused of assaulting a guard at the village market shopping mall on New Year's Eve. The tribunal appointed to investigate her conduct concluded she was guilty of gross misconduct, which rendered her unsuitable to continue in office. She contested the ruling and filed the appeal, which failed to kick off today. Sylvia Chabet, Citizen Live at Nine.